what's up guys, Seraphic HD here. Today I will be having a look at every Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies perk and I'll be ranking them from worst to best. If you are new here, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. But anyway, let's get into the video. So starting with number 10 is double points. Now, does this help you? No, it's completely useless. All it does is double the amount of points you earn for killing zombies. Now, that's not giving you an advantage, is it? It's not doing extra damage or anything like that by all I know. So, it's completely pointless in my opinion. It doesn't defend you or do any extra damage or anything like that. So that's why it's number 10. And at number 9 here, we have Carpenter, which rebuilds all barriers in the map. I mean, it's useful if you have the whole map unlocked, like you've opened every door, maybe, but all it does is slow down the zombies for a few extra seconds, so it's not going to do much here compared to all the other perks, so that's why it's number 9 on this list. So, at number 8, we have a perk called Fire Sale. Which, in my opinion, is a really awkward name for a perk, but this isn't worst to best perk names, this is worst to best perk abilities. So, what this perk does is it puts the mystery box in every possible location that it can go, and it will cost 10 coins for 30 seconds, which is amazing if you're trying to get the wonder weapon in that map. But, the reason it's number 8 is because there's better perks. So anyway, moving on to number 7. So, at number 7 we have a perk called the Bonfire Sale, which is the same as Fire Sale but with a bon on it. Anyway, this is very similar to Fire Sale, but instead, uh, what you need to do is kill the Pentagon Thief in 5 before he steals your weapons. So what this perk does is it spawns the Pack-a-Punch in, it allows you to get the Pack-a-Punch, and it will cost 1000 coins for 30 seconds, which is really like good that's what 80% off uh, if you want to upgrade your weapons and you don't have many coins so this once again is a very good perk but it just doesn't compare moving on to number six we have perka cola so this is a random perka cola that drops it randomly selects a perka cola for you to have so what you need to do to get this perka cola uh, perk is you need to kill George Romero uh, on uh, Call of the Dead in solo. Or another way you can get it is uh, kill all the space monkeys in a section without them touching the perk machines. Now, it, it's one of the harder perks to get, but it probably pays off. At number five, we have one of the wonder weapons, the wonder one. Yes, this is a perk. You can get it by killing George Romero on solo once again. Um, and then have you have the Wonder Wolf until you are out of ammo. I mean, it would be nice if it was possible to keep it and then get a max ammo and have more ammo for it, but that would just be too overpowered. So I think that's fair for number five. At number four, you all know it, you all love it, is max ammo. This refills all the ammo and all the guns you have. So if you're like against a giant zombie horde and you've just run out of ammo then one drops a max ammo this is your redeeming chance it's good it's great it's a classic it fills up all your ammo so that's why it's at number four so moving on to number three we have the death machine otherwise known as the scythe in call of duty mobile but call of duty mobile is kind of irrelevant since this is a black ops video anyway so this is a handheld minigun with infinite ammo until you run out of time with it. So, if you're like, once again, having low ammo, you're fighting off a big zombie horde, then you get the death machine. You can kill off all the zombie hordes and then move on to the next round. So, this is basically just overpowered. So, that's why it's at number three. Now, at number two, we have the nuke or the kaboom. It depends which game you're playing. Now, this is a nuke. This is why it's at number two. It instantly kills all zombies around you, somehow not damaging yourself. I don't know why, uh, in the theory, it should just kill everything and destroy the map, but 
It's a nuke, it kills all zombies around you, it's useful and it gets the job done. Now at number one, you obviously know it, it is insta-kill. This instantly kills, so you pick it up, you instantly kill like basically one damage, um, not one damage, one bullet instantly kills any zombie in the map, including all boss zombies, for about like 30 seconds or something, which is amazing. Imagine like all the boss zombies coming, they're running at you, and then some, one of them drops an insta-kill, and then you pick it up, and then with one mag, you can kill the whole zombie horde. There's obviously a reason why it's at number one, and it is damn useful. So, we have gotten to the end of this list. Now, I was about to say some honourable mentions are, but then I realised there are no honourable mentions. So, if you are new, make sure to like and subscribe for more Call of Duty videos in the future. I'll be making theories, top tens, all that sorts of stuff about Call of Duty. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.